And throughout the pandemic, experts say mental distress has been on the rise. And with the disruptions far from over, they're sharing their research to help those suffering. Sean Stryker shows us what groups are being affected and coping mechanisms that could help. From isolation to fear and anxiety, the COVID-19 pandemic is affecting our mental health. So we are observing that individuals without a history of mental health conditions are experiencing high levels of distress, which has important implications for the mental health service system. In a survey conducted in early April, nearly 14% of adults reported having serious mental distress, compared to less than 4% in 2018, the highest numbers coming from people ages 18 to 29. This was somewhat surprising. It may be, though, that older adults actually have better coping mechanisms in place and that younger adults have, have felt more dramatic changes to their daily lives as a result of the pandemic. Less surprising, those experiencing financial strain are also feeling more mental distress. The Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health held a virtual briefing to discuss the impact the pandemic is having on our mental health. In part, this is important, again, because there are interventions that can grow out of this knowledge. Interventions like telehealth visits, which have become more widespread during the pandemic. Experts also say exercise, safe social interaction, and maintaining a routine can help with mental distress, but you should avoid alcohol and drug use. Substance use is related to more mental distress and is, thus shouldn't be seen as a helpful coping strategy. When it comes to using social media, it's recommended limiting your usage to certain activities. Support is supportive of your mental health, such as interacting with friends and family, rather than just passively scrolling through the newsfeed and taking in information. Sean Stryker for WJZ.